This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, welcome to BIPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert in Salesforce Wave Analytics with BIP Solutions. Today I'm going to talk about a case study in Salesforce Wave Analytics binding. And that case study is that case is that I would like to filter records using month toggle. You might have seen my previous videos where we have I have implemented filtering using global filter or by using list filter or by using default date filter. But now I would like to filter my records, filter a chart using a month toggle. So as you can see on my screen, there is a month toggle which is showing last month, this month and two months previous. And we have a chart which is showing the sales region wise. Now when I preview it, and when I'm changing the toggle, when I'm selecting a value in toggle like last month, so this is the value for this, that's the total sale for last month, that's the total sale for current month, and that's the total sale in all regions for two months previous. So this we can achieve by using default date filter. We have a date filter, we can use it. But my requirement is my client requires to implement a toggle to create a toggle for applying a filter. So therefore I decided to share the same case study with you guys so that you can also implement the same thing in your as per your requirement. So let's have a look how to implement it. So very first is we are going to create a new dashboard and in this dashboard I select blank dashboard, continue, and I simple drag and drop a widget. This conference will now be recorded. So that's a widget, and in this widget, I click on chart, and I would be selecting sales data set one. And here I'm showing some of sales group by region. And my requirement is to add a filter for which would be showing data for current month, previous month, or two months previous. So I simply click on done and we add this widget on a dashboard. Now we are going to create a toggle in order to display the current month two month previous as per requirement. So I switch to, I drag and drop a toggle control on dashboard. And we are going to add a static step within this toggle. So click on toggle, change data set, create a static step with custom values and I'll give name as toggle or let's say month toggle. And I'll give some menu uh, values two months previous. I'll give a default value two. Then previous month one and current month zero. It won't accept zeros. So I will just give one because so don't worry about the values. We are going to customize the values in JSON. Create. So we got a toggle. And one more thing, I'll just select the pick initial selection and I set as current month as the initial selection. Now we are going to customize the JSON in order to uh, apply a filter. So I switch to JSON by pressing Control E. And very first thing in month toggle. In month toggle, I'm going to change the value. So we have a value here, two months previous. So the value for two months previous will be, I'll just add change of value and value will be 
because we are applying filter on order date field order date comma month comma minus two that's a two month previous comma month minus two and it should not be in double quotes this should be in double quotes comma and uh, it should be greater than equal to less than equal to and that so that's two month previous same thing i would like to apply for one month previous previous month and i copy same for current month so for previous month it should be minus one and for current month it's zero while defining static step i won't be able to create i'm i won't be able to specify value zero but now but now here i can specify value as zero value now we are going to select the value so let me save this first i click on done and uh, when we preview we can have values two month previous and current month but this is not bind there is no binding between the toggle and the chart so we need to explicitly bind it so again we switch back to json and we look for step step region one and in region one we need to add a filter so after grouping i'm add, i'm adding a filter filters and i add a filter here column and month underscore month toggle underscore one dot selection comma dot as object and as object is a function and here value so this statement will apply filter based on the selection made in toggle so just done it and when we preview when i say previous month it is showing the the data from previous month the sale from previous month this is showing two month previous data this is showing current month data so that's how we can create a toggle filter for month on a chart and that's a scenario of a selection binding that's all in this video if you have some queries you can write to us you can post your comments in comment box and i hope that this scenario will help you a lot in applying or by adding a toggle filter in your visualization thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye